Today I wanted to talk about um, repetitions. So in the first video we talked about staying with a certain amount of reps, let's say eight repetitions, and going slower. Because once again, sometimes the difficulty which we want to increase, sometimes there's just a little bit bigger of a gap. So say I have 20 pound dumbbell at home, and I also have a 35 pound dumbbell, because sometimes we don't have that kind of linear progression of, of weight. Now, trying to increase that weight, 15 pounds may be a lot for certain exercises. Others may not. So the question is, how can I improve my strength staying kind of with the same weight? Um, one thing to first think about is, what is the goal? Okay, this is a big topic because sometimes we'll go into workouts not really thinking about, we want a good workout, the goal is a good workout, but we're not necessarily thinking about, well, you know, what's the goal, overall goal for my strength, my endurance, and stuff like that. So think about first, st uh, what's your strength goal? If it's to build some you know, hypertrophy or get stronger, you're going to think about anywhere from one to 12 repetitions. Now, if it's absolute strength where you're really trying to maximize that, you're thinking anywhere probably from one to five reps, maybe six repetitions. Now, if it's to get a little bit more bulk or add some lean mass, you may be thinking anywhere from seven to 12 uh, repetitions. And then if it's more, if you're trying to build some muscle endurance, you're probably thinking anywhere from 13 and above or maybe 15 and above with reps. So, so first start with trying to find what rep scheme you're trying to target for your goal. Now, if we're trying to build that kind of what they call muscle hypertrophy or kind of add some lean mass, talk about you're gonna think eight to 12 reps. So say for instance that you started with eight repetitions with that 20 pound dumbbell. Now you want to increase that difficulty. So from a rep standpoint, you're gonna think about adding a repetition. So say the first week you did uh, three sets of eight. Now the next week or when you get to the point where those eight repetitions are a little, um, they're starting to get easy, then you go to nine repetitions. So you start to add that, um, adding a repetition will kind of add volume. So instead of doing, let's see, three sets of eight at 16, 24 repetitions, now you're doing three sets of nine reps and now that's 27 reps you've got in. So if you've increased um, the difficulty by increasing those repetitions. So that's one um, way to kind of take that difficulty to the next level. And when you're thinking about this, the goal is to maximize the exercise, right? So try not to jump up too many repetitions too soon. Try and find that kind of sweet spot there and build off that. Each week you do not need to increase the repetitions. Stay at a rep scheme for a little bit, get used to it, get stronger, let your body get comfortable with that, then start to increase that difficulty. Um, sometimes we change too soon and that difficulty is always at a high level. There's something to be said by doing easier workouts and kind of mastering the movement. So don't think that you always have to increase the reps you always have to increase the weight or you know how long you work out. Sometimes it's better just to master the movements at a lower weight. However, when it's time to build up, start by adding just one repetition to each set and then going from there. And if that starts to get easy, then you start to add that second rep, but spend a little bit of time, a couple weeks at that rep scheme at least. Some, some people, some of the strong lifters will spend you know, up to four or five weeks at that rep scheme. So don't think that you have to change it each time.